wish that they would go spiritual back, but Nintendo's gonna Nintendo. Oh boy, so yeah, like this episode, everyone makes it through the sea tunnel and they end up in a cave. And but it's like, a dead end. It's a dead end, and then Waymon just pops out and accidentally wounds both Junpei and Toboki. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. Yeah. Right, also I should mention, Junpei's just straight up like, Oh, hey, Azumi, I would absolutely get your spirit back for you. I'd fight those guys by myself if I had to. And she's like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever, whatever, Junpei, alright. Man, <laughs> I last week I didn't really bring up the whole like fantasy sequence where Junpei is imagining himself getting married to Azumi. But yeah. man, the shipping is like so real. <laughs> Junpei is just, Junpei's super into Izumi. <laughs> like, they're going all in on it, holy crap. Uh, and Izumi's constantly like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever, man. Yeah, and it's like, by the end of the episode, she's just actually seems to be like, oh, thanks, and she's like, super into it. And it's yeah, like, because... jeez. Yeah, because Junpei was serious. Yeah, like, Jun oh, if I had my spirit, I would wreck these guys and get your spirit back. <laughs> Junpei's kind of a jerk, but he's also a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. Take them that in whatever way you want to. <laughs> but yeah, they get yeah. they get stuck in like this cave, and there's a a um, it's a dead end. They can't escape, and then Waymon pops out of the thing. He's just like, I've been trapped in here for a long time. This grotto wants douchebag. Oh, it can't be that long, and Waymon's like, I've been trapped in here for 55 years. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we all get so... Yeah. I was just swimming along, and I ate a suspiciously glowing patch of seaweed. <laughs> I ate this random glowing thing that doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the story, and then no. Grotto Mon just broke some land and absorbed the data, and I got trapped in this cave. <laughs> also, I ate a glowing thing, don't think about it. I just yeah, saw a shiny rock and was like, yeah, that looks tasty. Yeah, don't worry, never mind that the episode directly references the name of Junpei's Beast Spirit. <clears throat> Junpei dubs some nuance behind why he acts the way he does, which I- oh, he does have some nuance behind the way he acts the way he does, which I appreciate. I hate autocorrect, oh, I'm with you, man. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> but yeah, so this episode, we, like, get attacked by the villains again. After, like, well, first Waymon just starts crying over his sad backstory, and everyone's like, oh, we'll help you out. And, like, Bokomon's like, how can he cry? He doesn't have eyes. Yeah, it's like, how is he crying? Uh, no, I think it's like Naimon. It's like, how is he crying? And Bokomon goes, I don't know. <laughs> Where do the tears come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that little bit of, like, acknowledgement. Yeah, it's pretty great. So yeah, like friggin' Grottomon just shows up with a billion Golemon and he's like, hey, deal with this, kids. Harpermon <laughs> is there too. Yeah. It's so here's the thing, like, this is the big question I have. Cause it's like, alright, Grandma and Arbor are like falling the sea tall, and of course they like they choose the wrong way because the direction the kids go was, like, random. So they're they like, oh man, we're stuck in this, like, thing, we don't know the way out. And well, they, no, they, yeah. They chose the right way. Well, first they chose the wrong way, it seemed like they went around, oh, yeah. and they chose the right way somehow. They chose the right, they chose the right way both times. Yeah, it seems the like they're one. lost, and they saw the train going back up the track in, like, reverse. And it's like, yeah, oh, okay, time. that's the way. The first time we saw... The first time they choose a path, they go right, which we saw the Trailmon go. Yes. It was the second time we didn't see a path... Like, they didn't see the path that, uh... 
Yeah, we didn't see the path that they went on the second time because they didn't show the second, like... The, the second path was probably them going the wrong way and looping around. No, what I'm saying is Arbormon and Grottomon went the right way both times. Because they mentioned they're like, you know, just lost in the place or something, I think, right? Don't they say something like, you know... Oh, uh, we just keep like, going we... around in circles or whatever? No, they just say we don't know which way they went, and then Arbormon just arbitrarily chooses to go right, and it's the right way. And, the, I... and then they come up on and then they come up on the trail one reversing down the tunnel, and it's like, oh, well, obviously they went that way. Whatever, doesn't matter, because I have a way bigger question, and it's like, <laughs> did friggin', like, the trail mon just do the entire big, like, jump and max speed in reverse and make it? I guess so. Because how else would he be going back up the trail? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess that's what happened. It would have ha it has to be what happened. Yeah, and then like Arbormon and Graumon would have had to come to the same jump and they somehow also found a way to make it. Arbormon has extendo arms. Yeah, okay, sure, fair enough. But I feel like that must have been like an ordeal. That must have been like a pain to get through. <laughs> Well, Grottomon might have just jumped, and then Arborwan doesn't seem like the more athletic type, so he probably just grappled across with his hand. I like that Arborwan only talks in, like, what do you call it? Like, you know, like... Par like parables or something? Yeah, and, like, parable sayings. And what? Yeah, what, whatever it is, he, he speaks in, like... Yeah, he has yeah. a weird way of speaking. It's better than New Yorker accent. He only speaks in parables, except for, like, the previous episode, where he was answering things completely normally, which implies yeah. he just really doesn't want to talk to Grottomon, and it's an act. I, it could be that nobody likes Grottomon. <laughs> I, get the, I get the impression that that's the case. Yeah, Grottomon seems like kind of a scumbag, even among the Dark Spirits. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like no one really cares much for him, and they're like, yeah, sure, yeah, we'll go along with him. It seems interesting. Why not? Yeah. He's one of our fellow legendary warriors, whatever, I guess. Yeah, gotta help him get his stuff back, I know. <laughs> Yo, Armormon, you good to help him with this? Okay, yeah, sure, just do your thing, man. <laughs> yeah, just just talk at the parables or whatever. Ignore we, him, whatever. Yeah, we gotta leave Mercury Mon alone to deal with his weird scheming bullcrap that definitely won't come back later. And we gotta leave Randomon to, like, run off and do a Honey Beemon beauty pageant, if I remember right? Whatever uh, the crap that's about. Randomon has, like, a Fan Beemon fan club or something. Or no, a it's Fan Beemon fan bee club. No, it's not fan beemon. It's just the, it's just a different type of bee themed Digimon. A honey beemon fan honey club. Yeah. <laughs> but now it, it is kind of weird. Oh man, I I honestly dig the new villains a lot, but like holy crap, they're some weirdos. Yeah. Friggin' Mer like. Mercurymon just disappears and he's just watching them and he's like, oh yeah, let's not help him, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yes. don't worry, I have my own mysterious evil plans. <laughs> and Dustbot's yeah. just off to the side just like, what are those idiots up to this time? <laughs> yeah, like, wh while Grottomon and uh, Arbormon went to chase after the kids, Mercurymon and Randomon just went home. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, okay, whatever. Who just cares? Freaking... Yeah, let them do their thing. And then Randomon's like laughing at how dumb they are. And Mercurymon's like, oh, yeah, but it's uh, kind of interesting that you don't have your own beast spirit yet, huh? <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck do you mean by that? <laughs> it's like, what's this sarcasm? He's like, I'm not, there's no sarcasm. Why don't you have your beast spirit yet? Yeah, does he say something? I forget the exact laws, but does he say something like, yo, it's fortunate that you don't have your bee spirit yet? And she's like, what's that about? And he's like, no, I'm just saying it's fortunate you don't have a bee spirit. 
It's like, what? All right. <laughs> it's like, I guess, like, maybe Mercurymon can't actually control his yet or something, or he knows how much of a pain it is to deal with. There's some weird implications there. I I don't know. I don't remember yeah. if Mercurymon has his or not. I do remember, like, seeing what is vaguely in, like, something. It's a weird, weird oh. design. I, re I, re I was looking up something. Uh, oh, yeah, I was looking up Mercury Month's voice actor, because I was, I was curious who it was. Uh, not anyone I particularly know, but, uh, yeah, I saw what his next form is, and it shows up in Digimon 2020. Oh, dang. All right, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, but I had, I had completely forgotten it existed. Oh, man. I honestly can't blame you. It's a weirdo. It's it doesn't even look like a real Digimon. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of balls. It's a Sephirothmon. Yeah. It's... Sephirothmon? I'm not sure which it is. It's it's one of those. Yeah, which is different from Sephirothmon, which is a Digimon that looks like Sephiroth. I mean it might it might actually be called Sephirothmon. <laughs> if so, that's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, point is, we gotta, like, get the, friggin' get the spirits back from those kids. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, Gromon's, take... yeah. Yeah, I try and take the spirits from them, and yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so Gromon just forms a bunch of Golemon. I have to assume because it's like, he's not doing the big ritual, they're weaker, I guess? Either way, it feels super inconsistent. They all go down, like, one hit. Junpei takes out, like, five at once, and it's, like, crazy. And, I like, like to, yeah. I like to interpret it that the kids are just stronger. I don't know, like, maybe, but it seems I, a bit too soon for that, you know? For that much improvement out of nowhere. I don't know. I've kind of internalized... Like, I was thinking this while watching it, and I kind of internalized it as, like... Okay, well, since they turn into the into the Digimon, it's more like a Super Sentai kind of show, and so yeah. maybe maybe their strength is tied to their growth instead of what level of Digimon they are. And then you have the Cerberus Mon fight, and it completely throws the theory off. Nah. Oh man. And a Cerberus Mon is just a weak ultimate. It's just like a huge, crazy weirdo outlier. Yo, Cerberus Ma is a freaking werewolf mode. Cool. <laughs> I didn't. He did even use his full power. It's like nuts. Well, there you go. He was so inexperienced as a Cerberus Mon, he didn't even know he had a werewolf <laughs> mode. Done. Oh, man. Fun fact, in the card game, like, Cerberus Mon Werewolf Mode is an effect that gets you, like, nine points of memory if you, like, play it while there's a Cerberus Mon on the field. Because <laughs> it destroys the base form, and then, like, you know, you get the memory back for playing it. So it's meant to be, like, it transforms. But it turns out, also, there are cards that just let you play ultimates for free, like, effects and all. So you can, like, get a really nice combo set up, you get a Cerberus Mon out, you play Werewolf Mode for free, and you just kill your Cerberus Mon, and you get almost, like, max memory out of nowhere. It's, like, insane. It's so mm. hard to do, but it's so nutty. Oh, man. Oh, uh, but yeah, I think Golemon's just a punk now for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so everybody's trying to fight Golemon and uh, Grottomon, and Arbormon's there, and Arbormon has his extendo hands, and he's just kind of like bopping uh, Takuya and Koji on the face, and it hurts a lot, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he keeps bopping them in like a very like cyclical manner. Because it's it like, oh really... yeah, dance, dance, and he just punches them up and punches them back down with both arms simultaneously. Yeah, but also it looks really flaccid and weak, so it bugs the crap out of me that it apparently damages them to the point that their coat is exposed. It's really goofy looking. <laughs> it's really stupid. They should have just done a slight evolution and beat the crap out of that guy. 
yeah. until he evolves into Petal Jermon or something. Yeah, I was gonna say, if nothing else, we do get the reveal of Petal Jermon. Yeah, so, as I said, it's frustrating that the whole time they just don't use their beast spirits, because... Yeah. Because uh, it's gotta be Junpei's episode. Yeah, pretty Still. much. That's literally the explanation. <laughs> Still, it's really annoying. Yeah, the heroes get sidelined so Junpei can have his moment. Just like all the R times the heroes get sidelined so Junpei can have his moment. It doesn't mean they couldn't have transformed the fight Petal Jermon and, like, the random Golemon they were being attacked by. Man, it's wild to think that Petal Jermon is more of a legit dragon than Kano Weissmon. Because <laughs> he actually has the draw prefix in his name. I mean, he's an actual oh, dragon. Right, just by the name. Okay, I see. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, Digimon forms are, like, syntax-based. So yeah, it's like yeah. having that prefix is what determines if you're a dragon or not. Yeah, which is why it's very important that Gardramon is spelled spelled G-U-A-R-D-O-mon. Yeah, D-R-O. Instead of DRA, so because he's not a dragon. Yeah, specifically. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, this is Junpei's episode. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, Junpei has to fight, but oh no, Junpei's injured. He can't beat all of these guys, and he digivolves and takes out like five Golemon at once <laughs> with lightning. Yeah, yeah and Bulgmon or. What is it in English? Is it Beetlemon? I think it's Metal Beetlemon or something. It's be It's got a better English name. <laughs> yeah, Bulgmon Bul is weird. Bul Bulgmon is a strange name that I'm not crazy about, but but his, but yeah, but it's awesome. Yeah, it's a really cool evolution. It's Fucking really Gatling cool. guns for hands. It's a really cool Digimon. <laughs> He just becomes a living tank that shoots lightning. <laughs> yeah. And of course, it going Beast Spirit for the first time, he goes crazy. And then he masters it instantly. Yeah. Like, he's a, like even compared to the others, he masters this really quick and then he just beats like Grottomon and gets like friggin' Azumi Spirit back. Yeah. You could argue that, um,. Like, you could argue that uh, Koji mastered his really quickly, but even then, it took until the fight ended and then sometime off-screen for him to do it. Yeah. This Me is, like, the first time we've seen someone master it, like, mid-fight, and it wasn't even really a problem. Yeah, Junpei looks down at Grottomon, focuses his anger on him, and seemingly just masters his beast form. <laughs> and it's like, oh, dang, all right. Junpei, Junpei is actually the best. Junpei was so effing right, I can't believe it. It is, <laughs> it is comical how often Junpei is right about this. <laughs> the only way he could be even more right is if, like, we see the beast spirits for Azumi and Tomoki, and they also struggle extra hard to master them. Which I feel like we're not quite going to get, but that would be so hilarious. I... Don't think I don't think Izumi has trouble controlling hers. Yeah, because I, like, I think I, I think I think I vaguely remember it. She gets it uh, in her fight against Ranamon's evolved form, and then she just beats her. I think so. I I don't think she struggles against it. Yeah, but also her base form sucks so hard. Yeah. Friggin' Fairymon is, like, the worst. It couldn't even beat the Woodmon in its own evolution episode. Yeah, it's very, very disappointing. Fairymon's greatest asset was that it can fight Goblimon and then run away from the rookies when they get too much. Yeah. It's a bit of a dick, but he's right, you know? Because let's, let's, like, look back through this again, right? Because it's like, alright, Junpei's like, hey, yo, I really need to get my spirit because, yo, ah, those women and children can't handle it or whatever. And he gets his spirit and he's immediately stronger than Agnimon. <laughs> like, legit. He's just, like, tanking the same attacks that are knocking him around and he's, like, seemingly doing more damage. 
It's like immediately, yo, it's like he can fly and, yo, they fight Grom on the cliffside and he, like, causes a rock slide and, like, just does a bunch of damage and stuff. He's, like, super helpful constantly. It is crazy how competent Junpei actually is. <laughs> He's, like, the first one to master his beast form completely in the fight. <laughs> And sure, that doesn't exactly say anything about whether it's stronger than, like, Richemont or not, but I'd assume it's pretty on par. Yeah. There might be a problem if Richemont got in close, because it seems like all of, uh, Bol uh, let's call him Bulgmont. Bulg Bulgmont's stuff, all of Bulgmont's attacks are, like, ranged. <laughs> So it's like, I yeah, I guess it makes sense that uh, he might actually struggle against... He, like, if they were in a fight, Vritramon might struggle, or Bulgmon might struggle against Vritramon if Vritramon got in close. Yeah, maybe. I assume if there was, like, any type of range battle, Bulgmon would be, like, just way superior. Because not only is he, like, way bulkier... But also, he just has a cannon, so, like, Richemon's wings mean nothing. And Richemon yeah. just has the little, like, machine guns, which, like, I mean, they're shown to be effective, but they don't look that strong. Yeah. Also, uh, Bulgmon's, like, Bulgmon's got tank treads. Tanks yes. are faster than you might think. Oh, yeah. They also use way more fuel than you might think. Yeah, but I doubt... I doubt that factors into... Yeah, Bulgmon it's just a fun abilities. fact. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I... in the effing, like, Ukraine-Russia war, like, random farmers are just finding tanks just stranded out of fuel on the side of the road and just casually, like, dragging them off to sell for parts. Yeah. It's hilarious. Good job, good job. Russia keeps screwing up. Good job, Ukraine. Yeah, great job, Ukraine. Keep at it. Oh, we here, here at this podcast, we support uh, Ukraine. We support human rights. Yeah. But yeah, Bulgmon just wins the fight. And of course, like, that Junpei's just mastered his beast form perfectly. He just slide evolutions immediately. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as he locks his focus on Grotto Mon, he's just like, you, and then he, he slide evolves. <laughs> yeah, because as this is the one big asset of slide evolution, other than like having different like abilities or whatever, is that it's like, okay, you beat someone, and now you can turn to a form that has hands and do your little Digivice animation. Yeah, and then he does... And then he does the smart thing. The smart thing that uh, Takuya didn't do. He takes Grottomon's, like, spirit. Another point for Junpei. <laughs> yeah, inst instead of taking, like, like uh, Izumi's spirit, he takes the source, and it just kills Grottomon. Yeah, it's... It's very weird, because it's like, he takes Grauman and Azumi's spirits, and what's left is just, like, this weird orb of light that just flies off. And it's it's like, oh, all right. Is it his egg? Yeah. yeah, because I feel like that was the point. That was part of the point of showing, um, uh, what's his name? Seraphimon dying. As we can see, like, how the egg forms out of, like, a, a Digimon that has its code taken. I couldn't get a good look at it. It just sort of, like, flies away, which seems weird for an egg. So, like, my assumption was just, like, maybe it's just an orb of energy that, you know, Cherubimon, like, puts the spirit around, and that just, like, brings it to life, maybe. I know, it's I'm, so weird. I'm pretty sure it only looks weird to you, because this is, this is the first time we've seen a Digi-Egg return to the, the primary village. Yeah, that makes sense. If that's what's happening, that makes a lot of sense. We'll have to see what happens when the other ones lose to, like, make sure, or if they, like, expand on that or anything. I'm pretty sure, and I'm, I'm almost positive that's what it is. <clears throat> okay, yeah. I'll, I'll trust you on this, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, hmm. holy crap, Junpei just beats everyone and saves the day. <laughs> Junpei is the strongest. Junpei number one. <laughs> 
and like you know the cave is crashing which Junpei did while he was out of control which also just ends up being a blessing as well because it lets them escape from Arbormon and also gets friggin Waymon back to the ocean so point to Junpei <laughs> again uh, I will say if Waymon wasn't there he endangered his friends a lot <laughs> Oh, yeah, but, like, you know, it worked out way better than the other beast forms, it feels like. We literally yeah. just solved the problem. Yeah, but it was a major coincidence that they just happened to do, like, that he just happened to do the best thing for the situation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Up until, up until that point, he was just rampaging at the room. Oh, man. But yeah, he does get it under control way faster than anyone, and like, yeah, he just wins. Holy crap, Junpei. I, I'm looking forward to the continuing adventures of Junpei feed the rest of the Frontier cast. This is nutty. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, I'm so excited to see what the crap they do for the next episode. Because I remember seeing this one as a kid... I was just like, I remember even as a kid being like, oh, this is weird. And now as an adult, it's like, oh, this is going to be really weird. Which one is it? It's the one where, like, Randomon gets her beast spirit and, like, Izumi uh, has to fight her and they have the beauty off or whatever. Okay. And, like, effing Izumi wins because her beast spirit is hot and Randomon's isn't, even though it kind yeah. of is. Nah, she turns to a giant squid monster. Yeah, but a giant squid monster with an amazing rack. That part's important. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people would say the tentacle's only up the value. <laughs> I guess the the, the the weird beat Digimon are more into human figures. Someone's into it. Yeah, exactly. And and the te the tentacle thing is just a turn off for them. <laughs> I'm gonna like call this early. Ramon got robbed. She should have totally won the contest. <laughs> Ramon, yes, her second form. No. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, man. <laughs> Just, I uh, had a horrible thought. <laughs> also, also, real quick, it helps that Randomon looks like, looks like a, a mature woman. Yeah, it oh, yeah. A child. <laughs> yeah, if nothing else, Izumi should probably be disqualified just on the age limitations alone. Yeah. Um, that's a really horrible thought, and everyone's gonna hate me for it. <laughs> but it's mm. like you get to the beauty contest, and it's like Ramon versus like Fairymon's beast form, and Vaporeon walks up and he wins instead. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, we gotta keep the meme alive. We gotta keep it real. <laughs>